Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Today we will go over download and upload. First, we will start downloading a project from PC to HMI. Connect the HMI and PC. Use a network cable, Ethernet, or USB cable to establish the connection. Power on the HMI and ensure it is started. Initiate the download. Click the download icon in the toolbar. Select the desired communication method, USB or Ethernet. Click Download to transfer the project file to the HMI. If using Ethernet, set the HMI's IP address in the configuration. Click Scan to detect the connected HMI via Ethernet. Then select the correct IP address. Click Download to begin the transfer. Troubleshooting common errors. If the error message, Communication Failed, appears, verify that the download cable, USB or Ethernet, is properly connected. If the error message failed to start the slave computer appears, power off the HMI, restart it, and try again. Complete the process. Once the download is completed, click OK. To perform an upload operation, configure the project properties in global settings to allow uploads and set an upload password. Enabling project uploads from the HMI to FMS requires an eight-digit decimal upload password with the default being 888888. Download the project again so that the upload function can be enabled. Once that is downloaded, then it will be able to upload the project anytime. To upload data from the HMI, such as project files, historical data, alarms, RW data, recipes, and logs, to a PC via Ethernet or USB, follow these steps. Connect the HMI and PC. Use an Ethernet or USB cable to establish the connection. Initiate the upload. From the menu bar, select Tools. Upload. In the pop-up dialog box, choose the communication method. If using Ethernet, set the IP address or IP segment of the HMI and click scan to locate the device. Select data to upload. Choose the data to be uploaded, e.g. project, and click upload. When prompted, enter the upload password and click OK. Save the uploaded file. In the save dialog box, specify the file's save location and name. Click. Save to start the upload. Wait for the upload to complete. Wait for the upload to complete. Once finished, select Decompile and open the file you just uploaded. Also select the folder you want to save, the Decompile files. Press Decompile. Let go back to the software and have it in its based form. We open the project that we decompile from our file, and the project will open up in the display. That will be all for today. See you in the next tutorial of how to configure your HMI.